back, we back, cool. I'll be back. Still have a key. Okay. Oh. Hello, are well, we back? Yeah, we back, girl. Don't worry, we back. Are we back? Is that working? No, 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 don't open that up. Uh, we are live. Hello, we are back. Excellent. We need all the mask. He's doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Cool. We back. Hello. So, uh, I'm opening a live stream. This is part two. Electric Boogaloo. Um, are we good? Yeah, we good. We good. We good. We good. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. So, let me continue talking about good old what's his name. What's it called? Forgot. Ah, oh, let's uh, let's do this. Let's do this the right way. This guy, Toa Yahuru, version four point sixteen. We'll talk about him. Now, is the picture gonna change on the live stream on my phone? Are we doing okay? We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Can I change pictures? Yeah, it's still gone. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Did my comment not go through on the channel? On the not the channel. Did my comment not go through on the last chat where I was like, "Hey guys, I'm restarting the stream." Maybe not. All right. Anyway, don't worry. We good. All right. So, this mock uses Shapeways mask. Pretty cool. But you know what else it does? It has a black, silver, and blue color scheme. And I was talking about color schemes before. And one thing I quite like is doing that. Like, you can always have a more simplistic color scheme on a mock, you know. And I think kind of always one of the easiest kind of staples is to go black and any other color. <laughs> like, any other color. Um, it always works. You know, if you're struggling with the color scheme, just go simple. Just do that. It works. Uh, and maybe introduce a bit of silver too, like this mock has nothing wrong with that. What happened to the last stream? It was apparently lagging. At least I thought it was. Um, I couldn't change between pictures, so I just re re like connected, disconnected my internet and restarted the stream. Um, it's good. I did make another live stream. We're still here. Don't worry. Um, yours is still going. What? Does that mean there's two live streams right now? <laughs> well, if you say so. Um, there we go. And we got these devout guys who now have 18 views. We've dropped a bit, but we got the we got the we got the real OGs. We're still here, we're still going. So, alright, anyway. Um, I quite like not. It's cool. It's cool. Uh, I quite like the weapon too. Again, sort of simple, uh, just kind of plain staff bit at the bottom there, but some funky ways of playing with the actual kind of weapon part of the hilt. It's awesome. That's right, TLDR, he lives. So it's cool. I like this mock. I also like the shoulder pads here using those technic panel pieces. You know, I've said it before, man. Like, make sure to use some of those Technic pieces in those Technic sets. Because these Technic panel pieces, they're awesome. They're super useful for stuff, and they fit well with Bionicle. It's so worth doing. It's a good time. So do it. It's great. There you go. What was the weird wingy thing at the hilt? Uh, oh, it's probably a jet engine from a, a plane, if that's what you're thinking. There we go. So pretty nice mock there. Let's move on to the next mock, which is a pretty awesome one. I like it a lot. And this is Dragonborn by DB Mox. Pretty awesome. Yeah, there was a playset weapon on it. Let me move back to the one. See, there's a barnacle playset weapon piece there. Anyway, Dragonborn by DB Mox. Are you gonna are you gonna load stream? Are you gonna get to that? Are you gonna get to that? Come on, stream. I believe in you. There we go. Dragonborn by DB Mox. Pretty awesome. I like it a lot. Alright. So here's some pictures of it. One thing I like about this is it has a cool custom head. Painted interestingly, kind of looks a little knight-like and awesome, got that kind of cross through it. So it's a Voki, it's a Mask of Light. Um, I know, right? I want that token of a mask too, it's pretty nice. Um, so an interesting way of kind of painting a mask and modding it a little bit. Looks really nice, really fits with the aesthetic that this mock has. Quite like that little addition there, I think it's pretty cool. One thing too, you know, just the general kind of knight look that he's got, it's pretty awesome. He has this really rad, like, kind of dress thing, kind of like more like an armored dress, though. Like, it's uh, really fitting to it. Yeah, it's a, it's a little crusader knight. It's pretty awesome. I like its sword too. Kind of looks like it's wooden or something. It's definitely not Lego, but it looks cool. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. Color scheme is nice too. We need more dark red on, uh, on mocks, guys. Really like it. So if you're like, what color do I use? Why not? Dark red. But yeah, he's a really solid and awesome compact look. Uh, really, really kind of nice sort of Toa-like look almost too, which I guess that kind of knight look kind of fits that. That kind of Templar look or something. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. One thing too to, to, to point out, does this picture show it better? It does not. Uh, so, you can see it here. Take a look at the connection where the lower arm meets the upper arm. You can see there's some tires there. Uh, just some small ones. 
I always like adding tires on, Mark. It's always a good idea to do so because um, doing so allows you to kind of fill in areas that would have otherwise been a little bit more difficult to fill in, which is pretty cool. Um, so give that a go. You know, have a bit of a think about that if uh, if you want to, um, because uh, tires are kind of the textures of them can fit very nicely with other bionicle pieces. Um, so yeah, have a have a have a think about those, my guys. Um, totally worth doing. I'm just going to post a little, uh, little adsy, adsy schmadzy on, um, Instagram. Just say, we live. So that uh, people know, because the last stream, stop it and starting, some people might be like, wait, it's still going. So, um, yeah, I'm just doing that. Bada bing, bada boom. But yeah, really, really cool mock by, uh, DB Mox here. Apparently, even though it's named Dragonborn, he eventually afterwards realized, like, Oh, wait, Skyrim, there's Dragonborn things. So this is not Dovahkin. This is just Amok. Um, so yeah, there you go. There you go. What will I do with the last stream recording? Both of the stream videos are all jumbled. Last video doesn't show live chat. Kind of bummed that the net's... Okay. Um, it should still be saved on my YouTubes. It better be. Um... So I don't think there's a problem there. Um, I'll just do a part one, part two when I do upload them. Yeah. So don't worry. There will be there. There will be the archive. Don't worry. So yeah, really, really, really dig this mock. Really cool. Always, always a cool uh, thing to do to kind of add some custom painted pieces. You know, that torso piece there in dark red. Some, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe we've ever had that in that color. I think that's painted. Um, as I believe those shoulder pieces are too. I think there's a bit of painted dark red pieces on here. But there's nothing wrong with that because this mock still looks super cool with them. Uh, and then again, it's got this cool painted modded mask like that. So you get some really interesting looks. So yeah, never be afraid to paint and mod your pieces. Or if you want to be purist, don't. It's up to you. But this mock's pretty cool. Um, let's chat. Let's chat for a bit. Let's chat. We've still got some more mocks. How many more we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Got eight mocks. Eight mocks left. But we're powering through them, guys. So let's chat. What do you want to chat about? Will you post links to all these mocks? I want to find the red Takanova one and congratulate the maker. What a nice guy. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I uh, haven't yet, but I will. Don't worry. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. So, um, what, what have I been up to? Well, uh, I, uh, I'll i see if I want to say what it is yet, because I kind of like the idea of keeping it a little bit of a secret. I actually don't have to. I, I am not under any legal contract obligations to do so. But um, I've got some work with uh, a Lego-related thing. As in, it's not technically officially Lego, but it kind of is. Um, got a super secret Lego-related project that I can talk about legally, but I won't. I'll be posting a video of it when it happens. It happens a month from now. Um, it's pretty cool. I'm getting, getting paid to do some Lego stuff and I'll be talking to some, some, uh, some pretty cool people. If you're from Australia, um, you'll know some of them, even if you're not, they're pretty, I want to say they're decently popular people. Um, I'm, uh, I'm being really coy with this. So it's, uh, I'm helping out at a, does anybody know, like it's an Australian show. So I don't know if you Americans will know it, but how do I like using tiles and mocks? 10 out of 10, man. Tiles are awesome. Um, I don't know if you know it, but there's a reality TV show coming out called Lego Masters. It's like um, like MasterChef or like any kind of cooking show, but instead of like cooking cakes or food, they're making Lego mocks. I don't know how I feel about it yet. One of my friends is on it, so I'm kind of keen to, to, to see how Kale does. But um, yeah, like I sit here and go, because uh, my friend was invited to go on it. Uh, and we would have gone on together because it was, it was a partnership thing. Not keen to be on reality TV. Um, but I am helping with that show in some manner, but I cannot say... Well, I, w I can say. I will not say how. So exciting times ahead. But yeah, Lego Masters. Um, yeah. Do you archive images of all the mocks? Yes, I have an archive of all the episodes I posted since, I think, like, episode six. Kind of the first four or five I don't, but that's just because those were super old. I imagine the show will be good. You could probably watch it online. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, yeah. We'll see how the mock goes. I hope it doesn't kind of get reality TV'd, for lack of a better term. I hope it doesn't get um, 
I wish it was a secret Jubilo build. That would have been hilarious. Um, yeah, I hope it doesn't get reality TV'd and it's like, you know, my friend Kale doesn't, they don't turn him into someone who, um, you know, is, uh, they don't twist him and turn him into something he's not because reality TV does that, which is kind of, kind of shady. Uh, yeah. So, um, we'll see. We'll see. But I, I, I'm not going to say any more about that because, uh, super secret fun times. Is, uh, is the, am I still on the image of the Templar guy? Do I, let me just refresh this. Also, Streamlabs, why do you give me the option to change the name of the stream and then you just end up calling it Ben Cossie Livestream? Streamlabs, man. It's weird. Pipe cleaners and cloth to fill in gaps. I mean, I wouldn't want to do that just because it's not Lego. But if it's Lego related, sure. Nothing wrong with uh, fun and interesting ways to fill in gaps. Uh, I don't know if your mock's on this, not a mushroom. Um, I don't know what your mock was that submitted, and sadly it is a little too late because I've already set up the images and stuff. Um, yeah. Rare colors are expensive and hard to find. Not if you know the right places to look. What do I think of an idea of a Rahi turning into a Toa? Sure, man. Do it. Sounds cool. Oh, hey, it's Jafer. I think that's a good thing, Jafer, that you guys applied and they didn't put you on because as long as they don't go reality TV with it, then maybe, you know, but um, I don't know, man. They can, uh, they can do some shady stuff. Like, I know a person who was on, um, like, Kitchen Rules. I don't know them. I know of them. And um, the show twisted them to make them, like, the evil villain. And, um, like, the amount of crap that they got for that in their daily life. Because just people assumed they were evil. Like, that's not fair. That's not cool. Um, so I don't like that studios can do that. That's just rude, you know. Um, so it's probably a good thing that you didn't get on, my man. But you would have killed it. You would have killed it. Any suggestions for your mock? How can you improve it? I like it as it is, my man. Sorry, I know that's a boring answer, but I liked it. You know, just keep playing with it. You know, like just if you want to improve on it, just you know, just play around with it. And if you don't like it, you can always go back to what it was. You know. A dual disc mock. A a dual disc mock sounds cool. Yeah, Ninjago Bionicle crossover would be interesting. I wonder if it'd be like a crossover like DC meets Marvel, or if it would just be like here's a Bionicle in a in a Ninjago set, you know, like uh you know, like a more Bionicle esque build, you know. It'd be interesting. I could I could I would uh, I could uh I could uh I could get behind that. Best part to start on with a new mock. Any part, man. <laughs> There's no right answer to that. Whatever. Just pick a part and put it on the mark. I have no suggestions for that. <whistles> How's the mock of the LJ coming along? I haven't started it yet. Um, I should though, because that, that, that's, I'm so excited to do that. Um, I need to check the Belleville cloth pieces that I have. They might be too small for what I'm after. But um, I still really want to do that. I think that'd be so much fun. Yeah, so I will do that. Arm blades are underrated, man. Um, mocks being submitted one at a time or just a flood of them? I guess one at a time. You know, if you submit like five mocks, there's nothing wrong with that. But know full well that I will put one of your mocks on and then wait a bit to put another one on because other people need a turn. Um, whatever. Doesn't really bother me too much. What's important when making a custom joint from a printer? Oh, geez, I don't know. I've never 3D printed parts, my man. Pancakes or waffles? Mmm. I think waffles. I love pancakes, but I love myself some waffles. Yeah, that's a good point, Dave. The tool says the easiest place to start. Sure, sure. If I consider doing building live streams, I've done some on Instagram before, whether or not I do them on YouTube, I don't know. My internet's been interesting today, so I don't know if I could handle that, but if I can, I'd be more than keen to. 
If not, I could just record myself building a set and just chat. Yeah, but it's more fun when it's live. Yeah, if I will, I'll do them over Instagram. For sure. You made the mistake of building legs first. Is that a mistake? I wouldn't say it is. I you can start them on any part any part of a mock. I don't think it really matters. Do I watch anime? I'd like to watch some more. I don't. I don't really. Pokemon doesn't count, but I watch a little bit of Pokemon. Favorite bis episode you made? Oh, I think I answered this one already, but that's okay. Uh, probably episode 50 or the knees episode. Anything that inspires you when doing construction mocks? Construction? Or did you mean construction? Or did you mean construction? It's more or less the same stuff. Video games, movies, just pictures online. That sort of stuff is normally the stuff that inspires me. Hey, we're at 36 viewers. We're getting them back, guys. Even though we crashed, we're doing good. Well, we didn't crash. I just restarted it. Hey, yeah, yeah, having a visual of, yeah, having a visual of you building of something would be neat. Yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree. I, I, like, I'd probably just do it over Instagram, though. I think it's a bit easier, and, like, the, it'd be easier to manage internet-wise, I think. So, we'll see. It's impossible to get any more bionicle parts in your country. Really? You sure? Have you tried, you tried bricking? But, heck, as long as you got some to play with, that's all that matters. Arms are the hardest part for me. Yeah, right? Yeah. I mean, I always find that. There's some mocks where I'm just like, this arm is so difficult to make. And there are other times where I'm like, that was easy. <laughs> uh, it varies for me. But uh, 100%, I understand where you're coming from, where you're building something and you're just like, how do I do this? <laughs> what do I do besides Lego building and Spider-Man cosplay? <laughs> um, read Marvel comics. Watch some movies. Um, I, just fin I just caught up with Young Justice not long ago. Quality show. 100% would recommend. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the next mock because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm having fun talking to you guys, but let's move on to the next mock. Um, what is the next mock? So we just did Dragonborn. It's this one. All righty. So the next mock we've got is... His name is like in, in everything. <laughs> it's Wolf by Wolfpack. And this mock is called Wolf. <laughs> so many wolves. Um, it's cool. So... This mock is called Wolf by Wolfpack. Pretty awesome. Quite like him a lot. Uh, one thing I like that's really interesting. He's got a fun system highlight here. You take a look at the lower legs. He's just got one of those uh, anti-studs, uh, one by two plates and showing the anti-stud of it. Uh, looks really cool. And I think that's a really interesting way of kind of adding that pop of, um, you built him a Torin Cossie? Nice. Um, uh, is, is an interesting way of adding a, a pop of red because this mock is primarily dark red, right? But it's got that red mask and you might be like, I really want to add that this specific mask but it doesn't quite fit with the color scheme. Well, you can always do that. Just add little subtle hints of that color elsewhere on this mock. Even if it's as subtle as this by just adding, you know, two red pieces somewhere. I think it's a really cool idea, you know? And a good, a good, a good way to do it too, you know, because then you can, yeah, add that mask that you actually want to add onto the mock. Um, so I, I quite like that. I think it's a, a fun little uh, way of doing that there. I also like how he's connected the arms here, the upper arms specifically, like how they connect to the torso. That's one way, actually, we were just talking about arms Tesla, so here's here's one way that I can approach arms sometimes. Oh, this is just the upper arms, at least. There are times where I build the torso and then I'm getting into the arms, and then it just doesn't look right, I can't quite get it, and so then I go, okay. So I switch out the connection point of the, tor the um, I switch out the connection point where the arms attach to the torso. Uh, so say the connection point is ball joints on the sides of the torso. So I switch that out with hand connectors and then that way I can kind of approach the arm from a different way. So instead of having the uh, upper arm connect in with the socket, now it connects in with the ball joint or vice versa or whatever. And so that way you can kind of look at it from an entirely new approach because maybe you always had to focus on having a socket be in that part and you're like, ignore that. I no longer need a socket there. Now I have to connect it with a ball joint. Let's see how we can go. And also that too, you know, instead of connecting the arms from the top where you traditionally would on like a set, you connect them from the side like this. I think that's a, just a good way of kind of looking at it from a new angle. And that's always a good idea to do when you're making a mock, right? Is to, to you know, if you're not sure about it, struggling with it, try a totally different angle. Go at it in an entirely new way. I think that's a really, really good idea. Uh, and it's a good way to kind of work around stuff. So yeah, is that a custom sword? I think it's the one of the Matoro claws. I don't think, oh, the sword. Uh, I want to say that's Knight's Kingdom. I can't tell. Might be. Uh, what else is in my notes here? So this mock uses some prefab stuff. So someone was asking before what classifies in a Nika build. So I would say using these, um, 
You thought this was done? No, 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 you might be thinking of the part one of this live stream. Yeah, this is like uh, Iron Man 2 where you're like, yeah, the party's over, but the after party starts now. So this is, I guess this is the after, this is part two, it's not an after party. Anyway, besides the point. So, um, prefab pieces here on the lower arms and lower legs. And I always think it's good to use those because sometimes, man, if you're struggling with building a custom part of a body, just use some of the prefab pieces, man, man, because sometimes it just works really well. Uh, and then, too, you can get uh, more posability out of them, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, you found part two. There you go. So, yeah. Uh, ben is a nice kingdom sword from the Red Knight. There you go. Good old Red Knight. Um, so, yeah, I quite like this. Awesome that Wolf has named himself in mock form, and this is Wolf. Um, yeah, I'm sure Dave Filoni would be happy. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I really dig that, the little subtle bit of red on this mock, just to be able to tie in that mask very nicely. I think it's cool. Nothing wrong with this awesome sort of Toa-esque build, and I quite like the uh, little things that he's doing with the torso and the arms there. Pretty cool. Let's move on to the next mark. And I hope this guy's still watching because I told him to that it would be on King Boss. Are you there? Because this is your mock. Chukuroko, the protector of water. Is he there? I don't know. So there we go. Oh, lag. No, no. I hope that's just for you, Ivan, and not just general with the stream. Oh, no, my phone. It looks all good on my phone. Should be fine. All right. Anyway, so this is Chukuroko, the protector of water. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Um... It's Chocoroco. So, Kosu, do you think a hammer is a good weapon for a mercenary character? I made a mercenary mark, and we have a hammer and a gun. Only one way to find out is to build it. Oh, he already has it. Never mind. Um, no lag here. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, uh, sure, man. I don't know. Whatever. I don't think it matters. If you're happy with it, that's all that matters, man. Yeah. Sure, hammer for a mercenary. Why not? Um, so, this mark's pretty cool. I, I like it a lot. Um, yeah. Dude, that's how everyone gives presentations at uni. <laughs> it is. Uh, they're like, so, um, yeah, like, I tried this and it was really good. Yeah, um, so. That's how, that's how it is. Yeah. You sit there watching, you're like, please be more entertaining. Anyway. Um, so, what I like about this is, obviously, it's a revamp of, now, Bionicle Nerds, I need your help. I know that all the protectors weren't named until that book came out, and then they were named. Um, so, is this actually the protector of water's name? Chugorogo? Or Chir 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 Cheerios? Is, Chir is, this, is Cheerios the name of the water protector? Um, I don't remember. I never learned those guys' names, which is a mistake. I can mean, still learn them, really. It doesn't matter. But, um, yeah, I never, I never learned them. My bad. I'm taking a drink of my water bottle. Mm. Um, so... Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Uh, what I like about this is the very kind of agile, slim look that it has. It's very much like a swimmer, right? And it's, to it's a matoran of water, which is really fitting. So I like that, kind of taking that more interesting, unique approach of conveying water, kind of focusing on like, well, how does a water humanoid in our world work? <laughs> which is a swimmer. <laughs> That's the weirdest sentence I've ever said. Um, so I like that, kind of that sort of swimmer look, the kind of more agile, slim look. Um, I kind of like that the, he sort of, uh, she, he, he or she, uh, probably she, has those sort of toes, kind of looks a bit more kind of like flipper-like, or just kind of, I don't know, has a bit more of a, um, more, yeah, unique look to it, kind of more water-like, like I said. You don't think that was the protective water's name? Okay, cool. Well, even still, he's made a cool matron of water and given it a fun name that is also a breakfast cereal, so perfect. Um, <laughs> uh... So yeah, I like that. I like the general aesthetic that this mock has and that kind of look. Um, super, super cool. Man, I feel bad. I don't think King Boss is here. He was just here a minute ago. You missed your mock, my man. Well, you can watch it later. Besides, I'll message every... Ah, King Boss is here. There you go. Sorry, man. I didn't see you. Um, she's a daughter of Kivoda. Cool. So I guess this is a custom character. Nice. All right. Yes, water humanoid. Um, so one thing I also quite like is how he's attached to the mask on the torso there. Really, really nice. Uh, it's, it's just, because this is a smaller mark, you can use a mask to take up an entire torso. Uh, I think it's a really nice use of that mask. I think kind of, the general look of it is a bit more kind of slim as well, it's kind of, kind of rounded and stuff like that. It's very fitting for the aesthetic that this mock has, and it's a great way of sort of adding torso armor without using thousands of pieces. I think it's really cool. Um, so I like that a lot. And I also really love the tail too, using some of those sort of smaller connection pieces there so that it fits with the mock very nicely. And, um... 
yeah, it's pretty cool adding that kind of mermaid tail, but not really being a mermaid tail. I think it's cool. I think I think you've uh, Mr. King Boss, my man. I think you've done some cool stuff here. I think I, re- I really like how you've done. Uh, you, you've kind of um, played with the kind of tropes of water and, and used them in some more interesting ways, like mermaids and swimmers and things like that. Um, it's cool. And also, too, the trident. Uh, I You had some better pictures in the email, but I did as few pictures as I could just because it was like, adding pictures to this is so long and it's one o'clock and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, but uh, the trident, too, is also cool because it kind of some of the poses you've got them in in the other pictures that are not pictured here. Um, she looks like she's hunting for fish or something. She's like throwing the spear in the water, catching the fish. Pretty cool. I like a lot. Very nice. Uh, let's, let's, let's chat a bit, guys. Let's chat. We got how many mocks we got left? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's fine. We'll chat for a bit. How you guys doing? Are those Technic pins on the head there to keep the mask from falling off as easily? Probably. I can't tell. The pictures are small for me, <laughs> my man. I'm scared to touch anything else because that was that's what made the stream lag last time. Um, but the little preview that I have here on Streamlabs is tiny. Oh, God, what did I just do? We good. I, th- I hope we're good. It says I'm still live. We're fine. All right, uh, let me switch to the live stream image just because that's what I've been doing. Can I do a video tutorial on what? I can. I have a I have a Bionicle instruction video coming out uh, soon. I don't know when. I can't remember when it's scheduled. Um, but it is uh, instructions for a little small Rahi. Uh, and I plan on doing some more um, instruction videos. I'm just like, here's some arm instructions. Use them as you please. Would you include a mock on BIS even if it... Even if the build is simple. Well, yeah, man. Happily. Kossi, would you ever consider voice acting? I have done some. Um, Detangle of Studios. How do you pronounce his name? Um, I'm, I'm voicing... I'm voicing Sensei Wu on that. Uh, a ninja is a ninja. With I forgot what my line was. Um, that might not have even been the, <laughs> the way that I voiced it. I, I'm probably slightly off. But, um, but I was voicing Sensei Wu on that, which was a lot of fun. Um, and I... I always enjoy at home being Darth Maul, and when my my eggs are overcooked, I'll sit there and be like, "Can you be? Which is fun. Um, so I enjoy a good Darth Maul, and Mandalore will be ours. That Sith pretender Dooku and all our enemies will fall. Um, you know, I enjoy a bit of voice acting. Um, I have done a bit. I'm happy to do more. Keep that voice at all times. Which voice is that? Oh, the Ninja okay, voice. Yeah. yeah. You got an email from me? I probably do, my man. I'm not sure. Um, do more voices. I did Bosk just a minute ago. Um, you got a problem with Boba. You got a problem with me. God, who else can I do? Um, uh, who else can I do? Um, uh, um, no, no, give me voices. I'll probably do them. Um, what else we got here? I, I bought some clearance Lego yesterday, guys. Um, it was really fun. I uh, I went to the shops. They had a couple solo sets. They had the uh, the um, set with Infus Nest in it for half off, and the what's it called? The um, is it Moloch? Moloch? The uh, one of the two? One of the the, the the bad guy speeder that follows Han at the start of the movie? Uh, they had that for like a fourth of the price, which is awesome. It should be 70 Australian dollars. It was 20 or 25. I think it was 25. I was like, yes. Awesome sets. I haven't built them yet, but I'll be rating for parts. It's so good. Can't do Darth Vader. It's too deep. Uh, what's your most used mock design arms, legs, tools? Uh, take a look at, um. oh, geez, that's a good question. Oh, I always use the same waist design on mocks sometimes. Cossie's waist. I've used it on two mocks as well. I like it. I don't know if I can do Batman. Um, also, do you know if that person... Oh, if Overwatch sets are coming to Australia. I don't think so, guy. I wish. I just don't think so. They're not in our retail magazine, which sucks. But I really don't think they are. It's a shame. You barely ever find any clearance Lego in, in, uh, in Victoria. Yeah, clearance Lego is very rare, my man. Um, which is why I went down because someone posted it on one of the Facebook groups that I'm I'm in for Australia. Oh, I can do Sidious. Um, uh, bah, 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 what's the line he says? Um, how does it go? Uh, um, remember the first and only reality of the Sith. There can only be two, and you are no longer my apprentice. 
You have been replaced. Um. Yeah, I don't think we're getting Overwatch. It sucks, but I don't think so. How many times did you make yourself, Mark? As in, like, the versions of it? One, two, three or four. I want to say three or four, maybe. Mm. You Americans are lucky, though. You always get clearance. Sometimes on stuff that, like, just comes out, too, it's just like, oh, we bought too much. Put it on clearance. It's just like, what? <laughs> um, yeah, Australia just doesn't get clearance. It really sucks. Yeah, the first Lego store that's opening in Sydney. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I'm excited for that. I just wish we'd get one here. <laughs> um, yeah, it's cool. Um, I'm jealous, suitably. I think it's cool. I don't even know what a Dalek sounds like, my man. I don't watch Doctor Who. Sorry. I don't think I can do Luke. I mean, keep suggesting things. Or maybe I can do them, but I don't think I can do that. Um, yeah, jealous of your clearance. I remember just walking into Target and it's just like, bam, heaps of stuff. It's good. Yeah, I spoke about putting stuff on ami am Amino. Um, have you ever considered pulling locks off of Amino for Biss? Uh, yeah, I've, I did in the 100th episode. Yeah. But it's that. So submit your stuff and I'll put it on. Don't worry. How would you give a larger mock realistic articulation, e.g. waist and shoulders without it flopping over under its own weight? Pistons, my man. Use some of the pistons that came in those... Um, in those... Titan sets, you know, using some of those is always really good. Take a look at stuff that Shadow Gear does. He's really, really good at articulation and having articulation on larger mocks too. Yeah, I don't think I can do Boba Fett. Sorry, my man. Uh, how often do you get opportunities to do voice acting for things and do you go looking? Yes and no. Um, I had someone contact me the other day. Um, depends. I, I'd rather do it professionally. I doing it with when I'm not getting paid is a shame <laughs> so um yeah yeah pistons and friction stuff is always really helpful too metro march is that a thing <laughs> really if it's a thing sure but I didn't even realize it was do I listen to a plainy music um I actually don't listen to too much music I do when I don't sometimes I have been recently surprisingly last night I was um not really though. Like I get, I don't get tired of music quickly, but I get tired of music quickly. Like I'll listen to stuff and I'll get really into it. And then maybe like an hour later, I'll be like, I don't want to listen to music now. Yeah. I know a lot of people are like 24 seven, they'll have music on and stuff. I'm just like, nah, I'm good. Do Snake from Metal Gear. I don't even know what he sounds like, my man. What happened to Fenrac? This is a good question. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't think I can do Luke Skywalker, Mr. Rex Danger. Spider-Man voice, please. I have been this entire stream. <laughs> uh, do you know if and when Shadow will be back on YouTube? Nah. Let him do his thing, man. He wants to take some time off. Let him take his time off. You know. He'll be on some point. We'll probably do a live stream. Uh, not a live stream. We'll, pro well, we might do a live stream. I don't know. Um, we will probably do a podcast together at some point. But let him do what he does. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's living his life. You know. He doesn't have to be posting online. You know, yeah. All right, let's move on to the next mock. Keep asking questions, I'll answer them. But, um, yeah. And what music was I listening to? Ed Sheeran. All right, next mock we got is Ray Makuto Ray by Sonic Bionicle Master, the master of Bionicle Sonics. So, one thing I like about this one is there's a bunch of those printed pieces that have that kind of lava effect from Fire Lord. Fire Lord. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. 38 views. Go us. Um, yeah, it's a cool way to kind of continue across that color scheme because, you know, he's got the trans orange bits sort of all throughout the mock, right? Uh, and then on the armor pieces there, you kind of also kind of continue that over, which is pretty nice, which is pretty cool. I saw Ed Sheeran live in Perth. It was a brilliant time. Um, yeah, so it's cool. I love... <laughs> I love that sentence. Like, I get we're in a live stream, I'm just answering that question. But I love the idea that that's just the, just the, the awesome transition that I made. Like, yeah, using printed pieces on Mox, Ed Sheeran, and more printed pieces on Mox and trans clear color. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I like that. Uh, that's an interesting way of kind of continuing across a color scheme uh, on areas where it might be a little more difficult to add those colors. Is look into some of your printed pieces because those color schemes might uh, really be kind of beneficial to you, which is cool. 
Yeah, like, like here, uh, zoom in. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and one thing I like about this, I just changed the picture, now I can change it back, um, is the head design. I think it's pretty cool, but one thing I like about it is, I, I'm not sure where the eyes are, but I kind of like that. And it kind of got me thinking, it's like, hey, could you make your own theme song to put in your videos? I kind of have, man. The uh, new intro has kind of got a theme song. I started this video with, with the theme song. No, I didn't. <laughs> um, drinking that water. Don't forget to drink water, guys, while you're watching. Have a drink. Stay hydrated. Um... Yeah, I can't tell where the eyes are on this mock, but I liked that because it's like, hey, you know, this is a, a demon with wings and spikes on his back and stuff like that. So why not do that yourself? You know, why not, um, you know, not build a typical humanoid and build more of a kind of monster thing that's kind of out there, uses different proportions and things on a body in a different way. So I ask you that. Does your mock even need eyes? What if it's like, uh, you know, uses echolocation or something? It doesn't even need eyes. And the fact it doesn't have eyes actually makes it a little creepier because it's a big demon guy like Carl, like Ray here. I think that's a pretty cool idea. So yeah, there you go. Why not try something like that? I also like the back spikes here. There could be wings, but they also could just be general spikes coming out of the back, which is cool. So I like it a lot. Nice job. Let's move on to the next mock, which is... Um, yeah, it is. Uh, which is... Yeah. The Toa Mino by the Mugbearer. Because I keep calling you Artemary Kapinski, but I feel like I'm butchering that, and I feel like at this point you're like, I'll just, I'll just let him say what he wants. <laughs> um, let me know if I am mispronouncing your name, by the way, Mr. Kapinski. But it's fun to say Kapinski. Whether that's correct or not, I don't know. But uh, the mug bearer, as you were called. Uh, now, so, what's this? Uh, where I was beatboxing my intro. That's, that's the one, yes. <laughs> that's what I meant. Oh, you play the mustard? Ah, nice, nice. It's a good musical instrument. Um, anyway. Toa Mino by Magbera. Uh, these are cool because it's a Toa team. I was like when people do that, when they build like six or more mocks and make it a Toa team. It's a fun project, you know, because you can do multiple things with that. You can either do kind of like these mocks where they're kind of reasonably different enough from each other that they kind of just make an interesting team, kind of like the Avengers to some degree. Um, or you can make them a little more unified, kind of like how the Avengers have those supposedly quantum realm suits. Is that even confirmed? Has anyone, has Marvel actually said those are quantum realm suits? Because I feel like we all keep calling them that, but that's just pure speculation. Besides the point, giving it a more kind of unified look, like they all sort of share visual elements or a visual color scheme or something like that. You know, that's one option. Um, and I like that. I think doing that's a good idea uh, for a Toa team. You can do either one. So uh, make a Toa team. I think that's a fun project if that's something you're looking for uh, or looking at doing. Uh, but let's talk individually about all of these. Oh, and also, of course, um, Mr. Kapinski builds all of his stuff over LDD or, um, or um, you know, some sort of rendering digital program. Um, always something to do because you have access to hecka more pieces and colors worth doing. You were just watching Avengers. That's awesome. That's awesome. Are they Quantum Realm suits? I mean, sure, they probably are. But what if they're not? I wouldn't be surprised if when we watch it, it's so different from our speculation and the Russo brothers are like, <laughs> um, I hope it is. I think that'd just be fun. Yeah. I'm so excited for Endgame. I started a Marvel movie marathon. I'm currently, I just watched Thor the other day. I'll probably watch Cap today. So I'm just watching them in order of release. Um, but yeah, I'm slowly working through them all so that I can, I'm pretty much watching sort of one. I, I, I've, I've spaced it out so that when Endgame comes out, I will have watched, rewatched everything to be fun um I, I i i haven't watched the incredible hulk mcu movie since it came out in cinemas and i know there's all those jokes of like oh it's the forgotten child of the mcu like you know i really enjoyed it i would argue i liked it more than the first thor movie which i also really enjoy um yeah i think it's a really good movie i don't know why it doesn't get as much love. I thought it was really fun. I get why Hulk doesn't get a new movie now because there's all weird stuff with Universal and stuff like that, which is a shame. But um, I really enjoyed it. Really did. It's weird not seeing Mark Ruffalo, but I think, um, forget the actor's name who played uh, Bruce in that, but I think it was really good. I liked it a lot. Anyway, so let's talk about uh, this guy. I forgot to write down the names of all the individual towers, my bad, but, um, I like this kind of multi-color skin, kind of reminds me of Chromazone from, um, Ben 10, was it Chromazone? Chrom Chrom Chromastone, Chrom Chromazone is a different thing, um, yeah, Chromastone from Ben 10, kind of reminds me a little bit of that, a little bit, a little bit, a little few nods to that, I guess, um, but I kind of like this multi-color scheme, kind of looks like he's kind of made up of, um, I don't know, different rocks or 
something. He's kind of maybe like a bit, bit scarred from battle or something like that. Maybe all that medium blue area there is like battle wound or something. I think it's interesting. I think it's just interesting kind of playing with a more unique color scheme like that with a whole bunch of different colors. I think it looks cool. Yeah, Chromis don't think. Go! Yeah, Stark does appear at the end of the Incredible Hulk movie. And um, some of the tech that they were using was Stark related too. I thought that was cool. And then they were weapon, weapons... Um, was it Weapons Plus? I forget. I think it was Weapons Plus. There's also that, that subtle reference in there. Some uh, Not as many references as some of your more typical modern MCU movies, but it's good. It's good. Incredible Hulk was fun. Anyway... Besides the point, um, again, there's stuff here. I was talking before about using just like axles and then adding washers or something to them. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, a simple way of doing a weapon, but it works. It's just kind of like a cool sort of staff of some kind. Just sort of seem twirling it around and whacking people with it. Something like that. That's cool. Simple weapon, but very effective. Also, I like the system heavy torso here. You can do some interesting stuff where you're kind of playing with these colors, kind of having them uh, move around. Tower of Cotton Candy. That's a good idea. I guess this is the Tower of Cotton Candy. I'm sure Mugbear is like, no, man, no, this is the tour of chromosomes, you know. <laughs> no more spoilers. I wasn't spoiling nothing, man. I was talking about Incredible Hulk. If you haven't watched Incredible Hulk, that's like a, a, an eight, eight or nine-year-old movie at this point, man. <laughs> um, so, yeah. But don't worry, I will not spoil stuff unless I'm spoiling old movies, which it's been a while, man. Anyway, sorry if I spoiled stuff. Um... Moving on to the next tower in this one. I really like his spiked sword here. And it's pretty cool. Uh, they mentioned Abomination later in the MCU, really? Hmm, I missed that. Anyway, besides the point. I like the sword on this. Using some of those um, one by 2 plates with all the teeth on the edges there. Kind of giving it that really interesting edge to that sword. I think that's super, super cool. Um, I always recommend doing that. If you're playing with weapons, like... Pick up some system pieces and stuff because you can get some interesting stuff like this. I think it's pretty cool. Very, very cool. Uh, what else? System brick-built heads. Mugbearer is exceptional at that. And I think this is a brilliant, brilliant example of it. Uh, I assume this guy's a tower of ice because he's, you know, got that kind of color scheme to associate with that. But yeah, I agree with Mr. Blackwing3557. It is a neat head. It's pretty cool. Let's move on to the next mock in the tower, Manon. Yeah, mano a mano. To a mano. This was my favorite. Really, really like this. Getting that cool, like, chain flail weapon there. Super, super cool. Really like that. Really unique weapon. Not something you see every day. He's also got this cool multi-eye thing here. Kind of like Kupaka's scope lens, but kind of not. And it kind of makes me think he's some sort of scientist or some dude kind of studying or something. I don't know. He's got a kind of scientific-looking head. That's the aesthetic that I get. If you see something differently, cool. Uh, that's what I think. I think it was cool. Uh... Another thing that's also cool about this mock is the system cloth on this, kind of introducing that accent color, the white, to kind of give him this sort of waistcoat thing. Really, really cool. That's something that uh, Mr. Mugbear is very exceptional at too, is making uh, cloth out of system pieces. That's still kind of poseable, still looks really cool. I love it. Really, really cool. Um, but my favorite thing on this mock, it has a collar. It has a, it's like, uh, he's got a, like, um... Just like on his clothing with the black bit, it kind of looks like the collar kind of pops up near his mouth or something. I think that looks super, super legit. Really, really like that. Um, probably this guy's, I reckon, my favorite of the Toa Mano. Really cool. Yeah, he's a doctor. I like that. Sure. Very cool. Very cool. All right. So we have one, two, three, four mocks left. And then I've reviewed all the ones that I had planned. But, but it's talky time. Let's talk. Let's chat. Let's hang out. What do we want to talk about, guys? This live stream has been going for an hour and 30 minutes, maybe, I don't know, long enough, yeah, for 41 people, mine says 38, we'll go with 41, I like that more, it's cool, I like it, so what you guys been up to, other than watching the show, like, in, in general, recently, did I do my HSC, HSC, what's HSC, that's a school thing, isn't it, what does HSC mean, I've heard that name before, but I don't know what it means, Definitely Doctor Who, if you say so. I believe you. Um, so yeah, I have a fair few submissions to work through still. A lot of them. Like I said, 130. I said that, actually, I said that a while ago. I have about 130-odd submissions to work through, uh, which is why this episode is all on submitted marks, which is cool. Um, I don't mind having that many, you know? It's just that, like, sometimes there's some people who are like, oh, I want to see my submission now, kind of thing. 
which I understand, but uh, it's that. I've got a lot to work through, so I'll get there. What tends to be the hardest thing for you to build in both System and Bionicle? Um, I feel like more typically I struggle with lower arms on Bionicle mocks, I want to say. It's, sometimes that changes. Like Sometimes I start on the lower arm and I'm fine. But um, I guess that's more typically that. Uh, with System... Sometimes getting just more interesting angles with System can just be a bit more difficult, I guess. Hey, Dayton. Um, yeah. I don't know. Struggle with it. Like, I'll work it out. But, yeah, I guess that's what I'd struggle with. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that. Have I been working on any mocks recently? Yes. I posted it on Instagram. It's a little teaser. Uh, I started a mosaic the other day. My first mosaic. I had to trash it, sadly, because, um, well, I trashed it ages ago. I restarted it the other day. Um, I trashed it because I used an app called Photobricks, which you upload a photo to it and it legoizes it and you can make a mosaic out of it. Uh, but the annoying thing was the app, the developer stopped working on it and I'd left it for ages. I built half of the mosaic and I stopped and I decided I'd come back to it and then the app wouldn't open. And I was like, oh, well, I can't continue with this. So I spoke to a friend and he recommended another um, program. Uh, to use, which is called um, Brickizer. Spelt Brickizer. Um, there's going to be lag, and people will be like, why did Ben just post Brickizer? <laughs> oh, I understand. Um, no, I typed it out in chat. Uh, Brickizer, uh, really, really good program. You can kind of custom pick any kind of colors and stuff you want to use. Um, pretty, pretty cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, I like that. Um, that app, definitely use it. Or well, not an app, it's a program on computer. Uh, so I started uh, my Mosaic again, had to restart it, but I'm enjoying it, slowly coming along. I'm about a third of the way done. <laughs> Got a lot to do, but uh, it's fun. Otherwise, I, I'm planning a kind of Bionicle mock that'll kind of be like a lone traveler, like a like a, like a desert, desert wanderer. Or some Vorox, I kind of want to build some Vorox. Thought about that. Um, yeah, so I got a few projects in the way. Uh, there's no lugs within you in driving distance. Then check out some Discord servers. Check out the Barnacle Amino and check out, um, just, just go on like Flickr and talk to people. That's another way to kind of be within a lug of some kind. HSC is the thing at the end of the year 12 in Australia. Oh, well, we called it Waste at the time. So I think they've changed the name. They always change the name. It used to be... No, we called it ATAR. No, we called it WACE. I think ATAR was before, whatever. So I did WACE. So I think yours is slightly different to what I used to do then because I graduated like five years ago or something. So I think it's changed. I think it's changed. Jeez, where to go? I have heard of iBionicle. Posted right on time. Oh, yeah. If I had the skills and knowledge to make a new Bionicle game, would you do it? And would you make it? And how would you make it? Uh, would I make it? Well, yeah, probably if I have the skills and knowledge and time to do it, I guess I would. How would I make it? Mm. I guess I would, like Skyrim, you know, kind of in that vein, kind of very RPG based, I guess. Yeah, probably how I'd do it. Yeah, I'd say that. Uh, what's your opinion on Studio uh, on Bricklink? Uh, I've never used it. But from what I've heard about it, it's pretty rad. So I'd be tempted to. Be tempted to. I think it sounds pretty cool. Um, yeah. Happily, I use it. It's cool. Yeah, it's a good thing to use for rough drafts, exactly. You can watch me all night. Thank you, man. Uh, yes, it's that one, Dave. Uh, no, nah, I'll keep it hidden. I'll keep it hidden, Dave, is what I mean. You have Joxon living in the same city as you. That is pretty crazy. That's pretty cool, man. You guys should meet up. Well, as long as he's comfortable with that. <laughs> am I on a Bionicle Amino? I am not. Well, I am and I'm not. I am on it, but I don't use it yet. Yet. I probably will soon. I just haven't yet. Just haven't. hasn't been at the top of my priority list to, to do. <laughs> an open world Bionicle game until I said that. I think it'd be pretty cool. I think it'd be pretty cool. I'd be down. I mean, there isn't there that mod for Skyrim where you can kind of Bionicle-tize it? 
Maybe. That'd be cool. Played the fan game. But a fan game, Barnacle Mask, is power. Haven't played that, no. The Lego game that I want to play again is Junkbot. Oh, I love Junkbot. That was so much fun. Who played Junkbot when it came out? It's an old game. It's old Lego.com. But it was fun. Love Junkbot. All right, let's move on to the next mock. We got, was it formal? Yeah. Uh, I really want to meet him, but I have no idea where the local Lego communities are and where the Congo great. Yeah, well, you can ask him. Google it. Have you Googled the uh, logs in your year? It's a New South Wales thing. Ah, there you go. There you go. Good on New South Wales. Good place. Where's the mock? Where's the mock? Here it is. Next mock we got, boys and girls, is Millennium Tower of Gravity. Totally misread this when I first said it. I thought it was Millennial Tower of Gravity. I'm like, ah, he must struggle with buying houses. Um, so this is by Henry Franks. Pretty awesome mock. This guy's got a hammer. There was a guy asking before about hammers for mocks. Hammers are cool. Get a Mjolnir. That's one movie prop that I have. I have a Mjolnir at home. Uh, bought it at Comic-Con. That's fun to play with. Especially after I watched Thor the other day. I was just like, I'm just going to hold this for a bit. <laughs> um, anyway, super cool mock. Always love it when people do this and they build them a Torin version and the Toa version. Super, super cool. Always love seeing it. Uh, cool color scheme. Purple's always fun to use. Little little highlights of purple throughout the mock too. Always cool. That's a good way of doing it. It is a nice color combo. I agree. Hammer's are cool. Um, where are we? Here we are. Gear sleeves. This mock has gear sleeves. I like the, uh, like, I like that, like, kind of lower arm design on this mock in general is pretty cool, but I like too, just, <laughs> he has gear sleeves, it's cool, it's like a little, little, uh, little, like, a uh, fancy schmancy, like, kind of doily or something on him, <laughs> I don't know, I like it, it's cool, um, so it's, yeah, it's awesome, I like seeing the, some of the slight parallels, more so in colour scheme, from the Matoran and the Toa, I just think that's, uh, pretty cool, and, uh, yeah, unique, it's fun. Also, too, you can pay attention here. You can see some of the custom elements on this. You can see the custom torso, some of the custom stuff on the arms and stuff like that. Definitely worth studying some of that and just sort of looking into it, you know, using some of those, um, like some of the Rakshi arms or like Borok arms and stuff. Those are good sort of staple pieces to kind of play with like a custom torso and kind of do something similar to what, uh, you know, how this torso design looks. I think that's uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you're right, uh, Prankster. Not a lot of people make toes of gravity. And I think this is the proper color scheme for a Toro of Gravity too, because because it's that right. Like some people make like Toro of like Sonics and stuff like that, and they give them kind of whatever color scheme. But I think on Biosector, it says what those elemental Toa's color schemes are specifically. It's like how Toro Fire are always red or Ice are always white, sort of thing. Um, I think there is set color schemes for like Sonics and some of those more obscure elements or Gravity and stuff like that that we never saw mocks of those in sets. Maybe purple is it? Maybe I'm wrong. Eh. Underrated pieces of Glatorian next. Really? I think so. I agree with you. They're a great piece, but I wouldn't say they're underrated. I remember when Glatorian next came out, people loved them. At least that was on mock pages. Maybe nowadays people don't use them as much. I don't know. But they're a good piece. I agree with you. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, so I like this. Make some more hammers on your mocks, man. It's always, always cool. And mask shoulders. Never get enough of mask shoulders. Masks always work really well on shoulders. Yeah, and this is a good example of them. So pretty cool. And yeah, build some of Torin for um, your mocks. Awesome. Parkster, my bad. Um, so this is Toa Millennial. Or me millenni Millennium. Millenn this one. You can read it. He's a Toa of Gravity by Henry Franks. That's the one. Gravity is orange colored. There you go. Oh, gravity. Yeah, gravity was purple. Too many conflicting people. Um, eh. Eh, you know, I'm sure Greg doesn't mind. Oh, I already jumped to the next mock. Okay. <laughs> this next mock is by Marco and it's called Micromanager. So, people are always like, Ben, where do you get your inspiration from? And I'm like, movies. Perfect movie to get inspiration from? The Lego Movie. Um, this is obviously a Micromanager from the first Lego Movie. Super cool, right? So I like how he's made this sort of ball shape for the mock, using just a bunch of these... Well, these came with... Um, Von Nebula, but those are the Borok shell kind of head pieces in black and sort of angling them like that, kind of shoving them all together like that is super cool. Uh, I like that. It's just a kind of a nice way of creating that, uh, quite a unique look. And, um, you know, I think 
I want to say I probably, I think I bought a couple Von Nebulas, and I don't think someone gave me one as well. So probably, like, I probably have a fair few of those shells in black. And also, too, if you have a bunch of the um, Borok, you could probably easily do this with those pieces, too. So I think it's a, a, a really nice way of using those pieces uh, to create that ball shape. I think it's pretty cool. Very nice. Very nice. I like the kind of greebly look on the arms here, too, just kind of using a lot of pieces with those more sort of mechanical-like textures. It's really nice. Um, looks cool. And, I mean, I mean, obviously this is sort of more heavily inspired from the actual designs in the Lego movie and stuff like that. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. But it's also a very unique look at the same time, kind of this ball with arms, kind of very sinister, has these claws and stuff like that. It's just a nice look. I like it. I would like to see a Scorpio revamp. Yeah, that would be cool. Has Monarch done one? I swear he had. No, I think he's... No, maybe not. Still, I'd like to see a Scorpio revamp. That's pretty cool. The Eye of Magnus from Skyrim. I believe you. So yeah, I think this is pretty cool. Very nice work, Mr. Marco. Is that actually everything that I had in my list of notes on this? Oh, making things from movies. Like I said, I kind of touched upon that on the start. Take a look at uh, some movies. Go watch some movies, and uh, you might get some inspiration for some awesome things that you can build in them. And also, like, literally do that. I'm literally telling you, go watch movies and get ideas for the things you want to build. That's not hard homework. Do it. Do it. You'll enjoy it. So yeah, awesome micromanager by Mako. So we've got two mocks left now. But let's hang out, let's chat. I enjoy chatting. Let's talk. It came with the Technic Vader first. Oh, you're right, it did, didn't it? Yeah, 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 there you go. That's interesting, I hadn't thought about that, kind of reusing that part again on Von Nebula. I suppose that is what happened. I'm on my second bottle of water now, guys. Mm -mm -mm. You don't really say mm -mm -mm when you drink water, do you? But I do. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit of a ball of death, which is uh, <laughs> interesting enough concept, isn't it? You love the movie? You love Lego Movie? Lego Movie was really fun. Both of them were. I won't spoil anything about them. Don't you worry. Good times, though. Good times. I need to rewatch it because it just came out in Australia again, I think. Again. It just came out officially in Australia. Need to watch it again. I saw the advanced screening, which was fun. I was, like, one of the oldest people there because there's just all these kids there. Um, well, there were parents there, but, you know, it was fun. It's a really good movie. Recommend watching the Lego movie too. I've got a favourite movie. Oh, it's a tough question. It's a really tough question. I heard, Mr. Daniel Schaefer, that you built a Matoran of me. Thank you very much. Man, I drink like eight bottles of water a day. I, I will not need to pee very soon. I mean, I've thought about doing a Behind the Biss episode of showing how I make them. If, if people want to see that, would you want to see that? People want to, I'm happy to. Have you gone over Dragonborn in this episode? So yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Oh, is that you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you have missed it. I have gone over it. Here. Here's proof. There is Dragonborn. See? I covered him. I'll upload this later to YouTube because it uh, just instantly goes on to YouTube. Well, I think it has to process a bit, but it is still there on YouTube. Um, so, um, you can catch up and watch it later in the, uh, when I upload this to YouTube. So yes, I have. Yes, 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 yes. What is this? You realms? <laughs> Some of you will understand that joke. Yes. Um, you want to see behind the abyss? Look, if you people want to see that, I'll do it. So yes, you were on the episode of Anonymous Prime. You'll have to, uh, backtrack and watch that later. I'll let you know when it uploads, I'll, um, tag all the people who are in it. Or tag them, I'll message them. That's what I tend to do. Even if you submitted it by email and you don't actually have a... Building an Ultron kind of thing out of Bionicle. That sounds cool. Um, even if you didn't have a link, because typically what I do if you have it as a link somewhere, I go and actually comment on it and say, hey, you were posting the thing, go check it out. But if you... Um, unless it's on TTV, in which I can't post the link because they get angry. Um, but I at least let you know. I at least comment and say, like, hey, be sure to, be sure to look. Um, but even if you email it to me, I'll send you an email reply saying, hey... Check it out, you're on. So yeah. Mr. Not a Mushroom, as long as you've submitted it, it'll be on one day. But I may as well do more of these live streams in future, by the way. Um, because uh, because um, it's a good way to work through a bunch of these submissions, you know. And these are fun. I've been enjoying this one. Of course I would. Oh, not on the stream. I can't do that right now because I'm still working out 
the streaming software. So I'm not going to add anything new to it because I don't know how. Um, but future live stream, sure, or future content, yeah, submit away. Yeah, you have to manually submit Mox on the email. Yeah, I, how would you do an automatic email? You get an auto reply, but that's it. Cool. Uh, yeah. So there's that. See, I'm enjoying my little MCU marathon. Like I said, I might watch uh, Cap again today. Cap's one of my faves. Love him. Two more Bionicle Mox. What particular pieces would you recommend buying in bulk? Any of them. Uh, I get this question a bit, actually, of people being like, oh, what, what parts should I look for? I don't think there's any specific parts. It's pieces that you know you'll be able to use. You buy those. Like, I don't think there's any one I can recommend. Because I might be like, oh, get some two by sevens that don't exist, but get them. They'll be great. And you'll look at them and you'll be like, oh, can't use these, you know? What I use will be very different to what you use, you know? Just pick up parts. I recommend just buy any bulk lot if that's what you're trying to do. You said you were trying to buy in bulk. Just buy anything in bulk and play with it. And then once you've done that, then you'll know what parts you like best and want to use more of and then go buy those. And that's best. Get used to the system first and then go buy those pieces. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm sure if you submitted the email, you'll be right. If not, pretty much my plan is, I mean, it'll take a while, but eventually I'll work through all 130 emails and I'll be like, okay, if you've emailed me and I've not put it on this, I didn't get it. So do it again. You know, like that sort of thing. That That's probably something that I will do. But I respect it because that happens. Like I'll upload a mock. I'll upload someone's mock onto Biz and then they'll send me another email. I'll be like, thanks for doing it. Here's another one. And it's like, oh man, <laughs> the cycle doesn't end. You know what I mean? So um, I don't know how possible it'll be to work through all 130 and then have a point where I'm like, I've done them all, you know, but I'll work to it. Let's see, I might just do like a massive backlog of submitted mocks episodes and just post them like, um, you know, once, once every like two months or something. And so like, I have a big backlog of them and it's just like, okay, I've done all of them now, technically, you know, something like that. Maybe we'll, we'll see. Or maybe one day I just do like a massive episode and just do like heaps of submitted mocks or something. That sounds kind of boring. Maybe I won't. I don't know if it'd be boring per se, but it's, it's like that, right? Like if I, if I was on the receiving end and I'd submitted my mock and it was going to be on the show, I would rather it be on a typical show than like a massive long one or something, you know, but I don't know. I guess, I guess you just want it to be on, right? It's a matter of necessarily how it's on, you know? So, who knows? So, any other app that could be useful to, for displaying mocks? I'm thinking of setting up another Insta account for my mocks as well. So, I flicker Facebook and YouTube. Uh, I, I would say mock pages, but I'd also not say mock pages because mock pages is weird. It's hard to upload unless you know how to kind of work around their crazy system. You could do brick shelf, but brick shelf's just kind of post pictures and that's it, you know. You kind of got all bases covered there, really, my man. Go with Flickr, Instagram. Those are the two sort of top ones, in my opinion. That's what I would go with. I wouldn't say Mock Pages is dead. Mock Pages isn't dead. It's still decently active. Uh, it's not really decently active. People are still there. I've done a face reveal multiple times, man. You like my commentary? Thank you. Thank you. Just said thank you to... Thank you to... Uh, what was your name? Fire Spitter. Yeah, Mock Pages groups aren't too bad. I like Mock Pages groups, but I also... I didn't like the fact that you could just... Inst like, anyone could start a new topic, and then you get kind of... Not necessarily trolls, but people who like spam and they just make a topic and it'll be like, ah! and you're like, oh, we already have a topic for that. Like, please don't. And then you couldn't delete it. And it was, yeah, it was a shame. Go ahead, David. Oh, not David, Daniel. Yeah, I didn't have DV not. I'm not sure if I'd ever get that. Maybe. It's like that. Some people are like, go to Twitter. And I'm like, nah, nah. <laughs> you know, I don't need no Twitter. Well, you know, because it was that. It was like, I remember the days before I had Instagram. And it was like, ah, oh, all this free time. 
now I have Instagram. Nah, no free time. You know, <laughs> not entirely true. I just, you know, it's another distraction, right? It's like, I don't want to, I don't want more of that. Social media is good, but it's also real bad, you know? You find a lot of mocks on Pinterest? I suppose that makes sense. I've never, I've never understood Pinterest, to be honest. I just don't. I don't know, I just have no desire to use it. At school, they're always like, yeah, make a Pinterest board of some inspiration stuff. And I'm like, bleh, Pinterest sounds meh. Yeah. I still don't like how you can't always reference the original artist on Pinterest because anyone can kind of re-blog it, if that's the appropriate term for that. Um, yeah, you can kind of lose the original artist and stuff. I don't, I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily disagree with that, but it's kind of like, yeah, you know. So there's that. Yeah, the HTML on mock pages is a good good feature. I do I do quite enjoy that as well. Definitely. Yeah. I liked that. I, I definitely think mock pages has the best like uh look way better than like Flickr, I think. Well Flickr is pretty good, but I think mock pages is better how you can post. You have one set post for all the things. You can post walls of text for it, you can put images under the text, you can kind of move it all around and customize it and stuff. That's Mintox, man. I love that. Super cool. What's this mock share by 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 Mr. Luke Man? I remember him. I have not heard of this mock share. Is it is it a project he's like working on? I hope so, because that'd be great. We need a Lego dedicated website because we have mock pages, but it's, it's mock pages, you know. Um, yeah, man. Especially with Flickr's freaking thousand photo limit thing. Just, ugh, I don't like that. I don't mind. Like I get. I don't know. There are decent enough benefits if you pay, I guess, but it's still just like shady and disagree with it i hope one day they're like this was a dumb idea i'm sorry we're gonna change it i gave Flickr a, a, a pre-puberty teenage voice there and that's what i did i'm sticking with it <laughs> all right let's move on to the next mock you give me the link to the development group cool thank you i'll look at that later i won't open it now because last time i opened a link messed with the stream yeah instagram i would suggest over deviant and mock pages I mean, I've, I don't use DeviantArt, but from what I've seen of it, it's kind of just like, ah, Instagram's easier. All right, let's move on to the second last mock, which is, what is it? Anonymous. Anonymous Android by Benjamin Harvey. Another Ben. So, super cool mock. Really like this. Really unique look to it. Um, it's I, I love the sort of pop of trans orange on it. So the claws are trans orange, the head is trans orange, stuff like that. The cool dome look for a head. That's really unique and cool. Not quite like Mysterio, but close enough. I like it. Um, so kind of a, a cool way to introduce kind of a pop of color, kind of having very set things just be that. So I guess to some degree it's like the weapon is, and so well I guess the head is. Nah, I don't, you know, having set things be a specific color is a good way to do color blocking. I guess you know I think it's cool. So I like that. Uh, what else would I want to say? A lot of gears on this, which is awesome. I think gears are a brilliant, like, aesthetic to add onto a bionicle because it's just really fitting. You see a lot of that on uh, classic bionicles, actually, like the mudders and stuff like that. Awesome. Awesome to see. Um, so I like that aesthetic. I also like the aesthetic, too, of it having a lot of sort of smoother armor, and then kind of underneath that is this kind of greebled gear look. Uh, it's really fitting, really robotic. does look really cool. How can it stand? It's a good question. I guess it kind of holds itself up with its feet like that. Yes, it's got the little lift arm on the back there. It's kind of holding itself up. Yeah. Um, pretty cool, though. Uh, it looks pretty poseable, too. Um, this pose. Yeah, see, like that. Like, he's decently poseable, you know, which is cool. Um, sort of from the front, it kind of looks like he's a bit more of a, like a statue. But then you, you look at the back and it's like, oh, yeah, there are some points of articulation and stuff. It's pretty cool. So I like that. I like how he's played with these textures on this mock here. Kind of that greebled effect and kind of that uh, smooth effect and stuff. It's pretty nice. I like it a lot. It was a pretty, pretty awesome mock from Benjamin Harvey, wasn't it? Yeah, Benjamin Harvey. Very cool. I like the gun arm design. Oh, there is no lag. I just switched between images on my phone and it did it at the same time. Except I say that now and it didn't do it again. Dang it. <laughs> Still, um, for a second there, there was no lag. Now there is. Um, awesome. Gun arm design. Need more of those, man. I like too how that uh, kind of flexy bit there is kind of like connecting the gun in a funky way like that. Super, super cool. Really like that. Reminds you of Samus? Yeah, I see what you mean. It's pretty cool. So yeah, awesome Andrew, uh, not awesome Andrew, awesome Andy from Marvel. What a nice guy. Well, not a nice guy. He's was a villain. Read She-Hulk by Dan Slott. Awesome Andy's one of the coolest characters in that. Anyway, moving on. 
awesome anonymous android by Benjamin Harvey. Let's move on to the next mock, which is actually the last mock that I have. So, uh, you know, we've been going for almost two hours at this point. So, uh, you know, I will um, probably not review any other mocks after this. We'll just chat for a little bit and then we'll call it. Why not? Thanks, uh, thanks to all 38 of you who've been uh, sticking around. It's been a fun time. But let's move on to the last mock and then we'll chat for a bit. This is Brutus the Warlord by Mitch Henry. Pretty cool mock. I enjoy it. I use some sweet, sweet Galador. Galador's always super cool. And it's nice how well that's blended in with all of these other sort of uh, Hero Factory pieces and stuff like this. It's super, super cool. I love, too, the color blocking, kind of him having these boots like that. I think that's awesome. I think that looks great. Um, yeah. Sorry that your mock wasn't on the episode, my man. Like I said, I've got 130-odd submissions to work through. Um, one day it will. One day it will. But uh, yeah, so super cool. I like that boot effect. The color blocking there is very nice, very nice. Um, also, I like the trans clear stuff. That's a kind of more rare, funky mask that one day I'll have one. One day. Super, super cool. Um, and it's kind of interesting how the weapon is that color too. So it's an interesting way of kind of doing that color blocking again, kind of showing that um, that funky... Yeah, kind of introducing that funky color by having it also be what the weapon is. I think it's interesting. Is this even Lego? Yes, it is. That is the, the Galador torso. There is a Lego piece. It's a more obscure Lego piece, but it is. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I like that a lot. It's kind of playing with the weapon and the mask like that. Super, super cool. What's the next episode topic? Uh, well, I'll be posting it in like seven or eight hours at this point. Um, it's a Nike Builds. Yeah. You have three of that mask? Then share the love, Dave. Share the love. Um... I also like, too, how he's attached to the kind of cloth there. It's kind of flowing very nicely. It really kind of ties in with that Galador piece. Super, super cool. Um, it's very nice. Really enjoy that. And that's all the points that I put on my list to talk about it. Super cool mock by Mitch Henry. Always love seeing Galador being sort of blended in with Hero Factory pieces like that. Super, 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 super cool. So um, that's it for 12 mocks, 12 submitter mocks. I'm going to close down my notes on my iPad. Boom. There we go. So yeah, um, let's just chat now. We'll just chat for a little bit, then we'll call it sweet. So how are you guys doing? You having fun? Get to take a sip of water. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have breakfast after this, which will probably be more like, oh, well, it's 10 o'clock. Won't really be like lunch just yet, but... um. I'm going to have some eggs and hash browns. Be a good good dinner. Good dinner. Yep, it's already dinner. Be a good breakfast or brunch. No, they will not be shown in future BIS episodes. But uh, I know you had it as one of your goals, Tesla Effect, to be on BIS. So if you don't quite count this, submit something else. I'll put it on the show. Um, But no, like this is essentially kind of like a BIS podcast or a... um. Biss for the fans kind of thing. Like, I'll still put some minute mocks on it. It's still technically Biss, but it's just live. So, yeah. Oh, there was a question above that. What was my favorite? What was it? What was my favorite Harry Potter movie? Blah. It's a tough question. I like Chamber of Secrets. It's a big snake fight. Nothing cooler. I would say Chamber of Secrets. I do use Discord. Yes, I do. Episode of fan submissions with a cyborg theme. So just to make that clear, by the way, some people, I think, I could be just mind reading here, but some people say, some people, I think some people seem to think that I only do the submitted mocks in specifically fan submitted episodes, which is not true. I will put fan submitted stuff in any episode. I have the fan submitted episodes so that people will, uh, so that I can work through submissions quicker. And so that people who submit them don't have to wait as long kind of thing. Because that was one problem I was finding with submissions is it's like, oh, I, I can put your mock on, but I need to find a theme for it to fit in. So it's like, well, let me just do a fan submitted thing and you can put it in there, um, which works. Yeah. So um, I'm happy to do a cyborg theme in general, I guess. That's that's a pretty broad enough theme that I can easily do that. It's when you get to a little too specific with themes that it makes it a bit harder. Like someone was like, Undertale mocks. And I'm like, I don't think any exist. <laughs> so, um. You know, yeah, like uh, Cyborg Mock sounds cool. Favorite Mock tonight on the live stream? Ah, favorites are hard. 
Um, I quite enjoy Dragonborn. Don't know if I'd say he's my favourite, because, like I said, picking favourites is tough. But Dragonborn was cool. We'll go with Dragonborn, why not? Can I make a revamp of your self-mock? Uh, yes and no. I'm pretty happy with how Kossi looks at the moment. I don't really want to revamp him, but I am planning on doing at least two, maybe three more versions of Kossi, which will be him at different points in the storyline that I've written. Um, so those will basically be revamps of him. Yeah, but uh, my self-mock will remain the Kossi that is as it is now. That doesn't mean I won't change him in future, but right now I'm pretty content with him and don't really plan on it. Yeah. Your Phantom Edit Mock was on the Torah episode. Exactly that. Doesn't have to be just purely on a Phantom Edit Mock episode. It can be on anything. Is Mark Surge your most favorite LEGO Hero Factory character? Definitely not. No, Johnny Thunder is my most favorite. Oh, LEGO Hero Factory character. Yes, Johnny Thunder is my favorite Hero Factory character. Um, I Maybe Stormer would be my favorite. That's tough. I don't really know their personalities as well because I didn't watch as much of the content. I, I watched that... It was, it was a movie, wasn't it? There was one... Like, Hero Factory, the first wave of Hero Factory, they had the movie with Von Nebula in it. I liked Stormer in that, I think. Maybe Stormer. Maybe I go with him. Do you think it'll be a Lego Movie 3? I'm not sure. This one ended different to how the first one ended, so it's a bit harder to tell, but knowing Hollywood, probably. But I'd be content if they didn't. I think it ended nicely enough. Yeah. But I'd, I'd really be keen to see how they do more. I, I can't really talk about that without spoiling it, so no. But I wouldn't be against it. I really enjoyed both LEGO movies. I'd be happy to become a trilogy, sure. Can I go through all the mocks you covered today? Sure. He was Turbo. This is one of the first ones. I'll just kind of scroll through them as uh, I'm answering some of your questions here and we're talking, we're hanging out, we're chatting, having a good time. You guys enjoyed the stream today, by the way? Where can we find the story for Kossi and such? Um, go to mock pages and um, just look through all my recent Bionicles. I think I have a folder called New Bionicle Mocks or something. Just look through all of that. Um, the Kossi post will have his story and then continue to scroll through um, the other mocks that I posted more recently and there'll be additional stories in there that feed into that story. And if you want even more of that, check out Cody G on mock pages. He has more story too because uh, we, we kind of co-wrote the story a while back. And I'm still making it, still keeping it alive. It's fun. Um, and not all the story... Oh, I have all the story planned out for the most part. To kind of more towards the end, I get a bit more hazy with it. But my aim is to kind of build all of the mocks that associate with the story and kind of work through them. And then as I work through them, I continue to sort of post more of the story. And then one day I'll probably just post like a massive post of just here's all the story, you know, because why not? The villains in Hero Factory were cool. I do agree with you on that. Favorite version of Stormer? The first one. What does your red Kossi mock mean to your lore? Nothing. He's not a part of the lore. That was just a recolor for fun. If I related it to the lore, but I wouldn't, it would be he's an alternate universe Kossi. Probably like a he didn't become good. He stayed evil. Kossi's an edgelord sometimes, man. <laughs> String was your favorite hero and Kuroda's your favorite villain. Kuroda was cool. I liked Explode. I liked um, Toxic Rebel. I really liked the original villains. They were really cool. Rota was awesome. I didn't like the blue Rota. What was his name? It wasn't Vapor. Nah. I don't think he vaped. I don't think that was his name. Yeah, I'm surprised it didn't do as well in the box office. It's a shame. But then again, it only just came out in Australia, so that might help, but... I remember the first one was doing well overseas and then it came to Australia and it's like, it's about to just keep doing better, you know, so. Mark Hamill was the voice actor of Von Nebula. Really? Oh, I miss that. That's cool as heck. You don't watch live streams like ever, but this was a good time. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Glad all of you enjoyed it. Awesome. Thank you, uh, Anthony Turner. Enjoy I jumped the stream jump. This chat's weird. Like, I try and scroll down, then it's suddenly just like, well, bam, you're at the bottom now. I'm like, shit, why? <laughs> it's bugged out. It bugged out on your mock. Oh, I'm sorry, my man. Oh, yeah, it did, didn't it? Sorry about that. Yeah, forgot to move through, through some of the mocks. So they were singers. Um, I'll stay a little bit longer on your mock when I'm scrolling through then, Tessa. 
You can watch it back live uh, when it's on YouTube, though, Tesla. Uh, so hopefully that will um, not be as buggy. We'll see. Maybe it will be. <laughs> hopefully not. Favorite character in Toy Story? Woody? I would say Woody. Mr. Potato is funny. Potato Head? Mr. Potato, potato Head? Potato Head? It's been a while. I have to rewatch some Toy Story, man. Emotional, but it'll be fun. <laughs> Which Doctor was pretty rad, too. I will agree with that. Here Factory 3.0 was actually also really awesome. Yeah, I'll happily do more this live streams for sure, I mean, for sure. Let's move on to death. That was another one I viewed today. Did you find the scene from Up very sad? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Up was a good movie, though. I had fun watching Up. Aren't all mocks a little edgy? That's right. I think all, all mocks are a little bit edgy. There's a little bit of edge in all of us. Yeah, Shattered Glass Cossie. I like that. It was Vapor? There you go. Thank you, Daniel. Long question, but here we go. All right, Jumbo the Knight's got a question. I plan on telling my own Bionicle story, but I have two ways I could do it. Stop motion or pictures with me reading out the script, sort of like an audiobook. What was the question? Oh, was the question just which one should you do? I would personally recommend pictures and you reading it out. Why? Because stop motion takes forever. And if you really want to get that project moving, stop motion will not get that moving. That will make it take time. So I recommend the pictures thing. That is something I want to do. I want to write a, a Star Wars story for Mock Pages at one point. Um, I've started writing it. I need to keep going with that, actually. But I'll upload it to YouTube as well, but it'll just be the pictures and me talking over it. It won't be... Uh, stop motion because that'll take too long and I'd want like cool explosions and stuff and um, no, I don't know how to do that. Have I seen Venom? Yep, really enjoyed it. I don't know why people give that movie a hard time. It was really fun. The end of Venom I didn't like as much, just it felt a little more rushed and they kind of like retconned some of the lore that they'd already set up. Not ret, let me rephrase that. There was some stuff that they set up. They're like, oh, this can't happen and then they do that and you're like, but you just said that couldn't happen. I don't understand. Um, so some of some stuff like that, it's a little bit like, mm. but I liked, I liked it. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a very fun character exploration. It was fun. Just wish the ending was a little bit kind of more, I don't know, kind of longer and kind of a bit more different. I don't know, but it was fun. I look forward to the next Venom. I hope Carnage is in it. Well, I mean, it probably will because of spoilers. Have I ever seen the Unikitty cartoon? MC Lego Boy told me, uh, <clears throat> MC Lego Boy told me to watch it. So I'd be tempted to. Um, but I've not watched it yet. But I, you know, probably will one day. Even if I just watch like one episode just to see what it's like. Stop motion would look cooler though. That is of course true. Have I ever teamed with an artist and tried to make a mock based on what they drew? I haven't, but that sounds like a fun idea. You can't find that one piece. I understand, man. That's how it happens, man. How can I send you pics of mocks through the email that's in every best video, my man? And I made a video about it. Yes, that's literally the last video that was uploaded. It's my favorite video game. Coda. That's the Old Republic 1. I didn't like Knights of the Old Republic 2 as much. It's fun. I just didn't like the story. Because Coda 1, you can more or less justify into current canon. But Coda 2 has a lot of stuff that I fundamentally disagree with. Like the idea of being able to harm the Force is preposterous and the idea of being able to um because uh, there was a lot of stuff about how like malachor like vastly affected the force and the galaxy and i disagree with that the force is a living the force is um uh, an energy field that com that binds us and penetrates us and uh, it um, binds the galaxy together so to be able to hurt it and wound it would be to destroy all life to some degree or to hurt the universe, which would be catastrophic. And the idea that Malachor, the events of Malachor kind of having a massive effect on the Force, why wouldn't that happen with Alderaan blowing up? Why wouldn't that happen with um, Starkiller Base blowing up stuff? Um, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of fundamentally disagree with a lot of the stuff that Coda 2 set up law-wise. I just don't think it makes sense with the Force. Um, it's how, like, the Yusan Vong are immune to the Force in Legends. Like, that doesn't make any sense with the Force. They're living entities. That doesn't that doesn't make sense. And so I, I kind of, yeah, disagree with some of that. Um, I also didn't like how Coda 2 set up your character. Like, when I played Coda 1, it was like, 
you don't know anything about who you are, you don't remember. And so you can kind of make up a lot of your character. Because I, I like to really role play that game very heavily. Like my Revan was so much fun to play. Um, it's like when the plot twist came out. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I had so much fun playing Coda 1 because of how I role played it. But I remember starting Coda 2 and being like, okay, yeah, I'm going to be a noble Jedi. And I, because I was like, oh, I can already use the force. Cool. So I'm already a Jedi. I'm a noble Jedi. I fight for the order. And I, I fight for truth and peace in the galaxy. And then suddenly the, the, the lore in the game is like, no, you're an outcast and you're an exile. And I'm like, oh, well, that wasn't what I set up, but uh, sure. And so I kept having to change my own lore because they were hiding information from you that you supposedly already knew. And I'm like, I get, I kind of get how they do that, but like trying to role play it, it's like I kept having to re- retcon my own lore that I was setting for myself. And I kept having to um, fit in with what they wanted. Whereas Coda gave you a blank slate. Coda 1 gave you a blank slate that you could do anything with really. Um, because your own identity is, you've forgotten it, right, to some degree, and you've been erased and blah, 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 spoilers for Coda. It's an old game. If you haven't seen it by now, it's your own fault. Um, yeah, so I far prefer Coda 1, and I think that's probably what I would argue is my favorite game. You got me talking about Star Wars, guys. As soon as I get started, I'm not going to stop. I've ever seen the Ninjago stuff on Cartoon Network, Logan Ninjago stuff? I haven't. I watched a little bit from my Sensei Woo audition. Um, but I I just watched like a recap episode. So seeing it all, I was like, oh, it was pretty cool. But I, I would need to watch a... Um, I would be keen to watch a bit more. Some of it looks really cool. You just logged onto your mock pages account for the first time in three years, yeah. It's funny, looking over some older mockists or AFOLs, old mock pages and being like, wow, they've changed so much. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. You saw Captain Marvel? It's a good movie. Kota needs a proper remake for sure. I just saw on Instagram while the stream was down before that they've re- given new life to LucasArts or, um, yeah, LucasArts, the Lucas, George Lucas video gamey stuff. That's cool if that's real. I only saw it on one place. I was like, why am I not seeing more of this posted everywhere? Um, so if that's true, heck yeah. Have I seen the trailers for Toy Story 4 and Shazam? I haven't actually seen the Toy Story 4 ones. There are some, there's some stuff like Endgame or uh, like Marvel stuff. I instantly watch the trailer as soon as it comes out. But there's some stuff where I'm like, I see the new trailers come out. I'm like, actually, you know, I won't watch it. Just, just cause it's like, I far prefer going into movies totally blind. Um, but also that, like I really enjoyed with Captain Marvel when I saw that. I hadn't seen the new Shazam trailer and I hadn't seen the new Detective Pikachu trailer. And so I saw them for the first time in the cinema and I was like, oh, that was so much fun to be able to watch that in the cinema for the first time. Um, so sometimes that experience is also really fun too, so that's cool. You think there's going to be a Coda 3? Or oh, I don't know if I agree with that. I don't think that they would make Coda 3 unless they made Coda 1 and 2 canon because Star Wars doesn't like making legend stuff nowadays because it's confusing. They like to keep everything that's out now currently canon. Um, yeah, and that too, Swator is technically Coda 3. I've not played Swator. I would be interested to, but I'm not sure. I saw it in a charity shop for six bucks, and I was like, oh, maybe I should pick this up. But I was like, ah, I don't know. I'm tempted to play. Might do. Gotta go. See you, man. Yeah, pre-written character players in RPGs is is lame, yeah. Because it's a role-play game. You're supposed to role-play. It's that. Either tell me immediately who my character is and some, like, like beat out their story for me. Tell me, tell me like, touch points in it so that I can play them. Don't reveal it to me during the game. It's like, I should already know this. Unless there's a whole memory loss thing that I'm okay with, you know, because then it's that. You can play the character that you're setting up. And then it'd be like, oh, okay, that isn't who I am. I'm actually this. And you can kind of grapple with that. And it's a story element. But I don't know. I just disagree with that. I think a Game of Thrones writer is doing a Star Wars trilogy. I'm super excited for that. I hope they actually reveal what that is at some point because that's been news for ages and we've just not got anything about it. But I think that'd be really exciting. It's like John Favreau's The Mandalorian. Oh, looks so good. Every time he posts new stuff about it, I just get more and more excited. Like IG-88, like, it looks like he's being voiced by Takai Watatakai. Oh. Oh, that's going to be fun. Can't wait for IG-88, man. What does AFOL mean? Adult fan of Lego. It's what you call a Lego dude. Or a T-Fol, which is teenage fan of Lego, depending on your age. Or K-Fol, if you're under 12. For kid fan of Lego. Or Y-Fol, depending. Some people say that. Just young fan of Lego. Can make an episode of BIS uh, about how to make a CCBS torso look custom. 
Uh, I guess, yeah. Hey, Gojo! My favorite Biotube series. Um, some of um, Khan's bio shorts were always really fun. I always enjoyed those. Hey, it's Mitch Henry. Hey, Mitch, you missed your mock on the show. Maybe. I don't know if you were there or not. I need to scroll through these mocks as I'm talking. I said that I would. Yeah, IG8's in it. Yeah, he posted a picture of him in there. Same with the droid that... Uh, uh, short circuited at the uh, sand crawler in episode four. You're almost an A fall, so you're a T fall, Mr. Daniel. A fall sounds like a slur. <laughs> sure. Wait, the way that term was coined was on a forum, and some guy's like, we should call ourselves A falls because adult fan of Lego. And it's like, it also sounds like a fool, which, you know, that was the joke. So. If you want to say that a foals are a fools, sure. That was the uh, original intent behind that name. Um, nah, I'll keep my Discord to myself, please. Yeah, IG-8 will be in it. IG-88 will be in it, yes. AFL sounds like a swear I feel dirty now. Sure. <laughs> Elder fans of Lego. I don't think so. I think you're just an a foal for the rest of your life if you're, uh, if you're older. It makes sense, though, if we have K-Fold and then t Well, T-Fold is specifically teen, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if they'll do uh, multiple IG-88s like they had in Legends or not. That's a good question. Because there's no confirmation if IG-88 died on Cloud City, which used to be canon. I don't know. Oh, cool, Mitch. There was Dragonborn, slowly smolding, scrolling through. That's the other way of uh, of pronouncing a fold, Kojo. Sure, sure. <laughs> if you want. Yeah. Yeah. So we've been going for a little bit now. Go a little longer, then we'll call it. It's 10 o'clock here. Not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, once an AFL, always an AFL. Uh, yes and no, my Discord is for patrons. I have a server for Discord patrons. But, uh, look, if you want to add me on Discord... You can, but I don't know. I use it very selectively, to be fair. I tend to not. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe one day. We'll figure it out. I considered doing a Discord server for fans of the show, but then I'd have to moderate that, and I'm not too sure if I want to do that. So we'll see. He was Wolf. There's another mock I reviewed today. Would you want to see another self-mock episode? Because I've done three, and people always love those self-mock episodes. For whatever reason, people love their self-mocks. Um, so if that's something you want to see, you know. You literally didn't sleep just to watch the live stream. You are committed, man. Thank you. But I mean, if you want to go to bed, you can. <laughs> Played any Kirby games? I haven't. I haven't, actually. Um, a lot of those sort of, like, Nintendo IPs, not all of them I played. Like, I haven't, I haven't really played much Zelda, which is just a crying shame. Um, no. Closest thing I played to Kirby is just using him in Smash. Smash was fun. Yeah. self mocks are cool. Does your amount of subscribers affect your ability to make friends online? It shouldn't. If it does, it's not some friends you want to be hanging out with. If you're talking to me specifically, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if there's a correlation between that or not. I'm not sure. I wish there was some more Barnacle Technique pick-a-brick in stores. I remember when Hero Factory parts were in pick-a-brick walls. I don't actually remember. I just remember... I was never there when it happened, but I remember people being like, oh, yeah, there's Barnacle in CCBS, CCBS in pick-a-brick. Wow. I was like, oh, Interesting, at least. Yeah. But it'd be cool if there was some, for sure. Played Super Mario Galaxy? I have not. Oh, 
Oh, a shattered glass version of Dragon Ball, and that's pretty cool. I love recolors, man. Like, shiny Pokemon, super cool. Except for some. Like, shiny Garchomp, such a disappointment. It's the same color, man. Um, but, uh, oh, and, and then, and then, um, yeah, like, Red Cossie. Only reason I made him, it's cool to recolor stuff. Or, like, Power Link's Transformers, super cool. Just recolored, they look cool. Yeah, I guess that is why people like self-marks. It is a representation of themselves. This is true. Are you going to make it to Brickfair VA? I don't know yet, man. I'm still really not sure. I don't know about this year. But in future. For 100% in future. Like, that is, like, like I always say, top of my list. One day. Remember when CCBS were on shelves? That was the day. Yeah, that's was the day. I mean, submit any mocks. Doesn't you don't have to just submit yourself mock though, Daniel. You can do anything. Black and purple. It's got my attention. I agree. Black and purple is a nice color scheme. Speaking of black and purple, I'm hoping this next mock was black and purple. Did I make a link? Eh, not really. Can you hear my chair cracking like that? <laughs> what I think of the Force Unleashed games? Same deal. Force wise, I don't think anyone is well. You see, I I. I think it's kind of established in law, and I think it's fairly safe to say that the force is the the power of the force that you can wield is up to your belief in yourself to some degree. If you you know, it's your own sort of self limitations will limit how much power you can have in the force. So I don't necessarily think that's impossible to be that strong, but I can I can agree with the fact that um, Star Killer is a little too strong. Um, Storyline wise, I don't necessarily think it added much. It was a cool concept. It was very, it was very fun to play, and it was very cool. Um, I like, I like the Force Unleashed for what it like to be able to play a game where you're just OP in the Force is super fun, right? But canonically, I don't know about it. Uh, I think if they did bring the Force Unleashed concept back, it'd be interesting, especially if that character ended up meeting Ahsoka at some point. That'd be super interesting. The two apprentices of Skywalker. Um, there was debate to make him an Inquisitor in Rebels, but they didn't, which I'm okay with. Um, because it's that, like, I, I don't know how you could fit Starkiller into current canon. One, you'd need to change his name, of course. Um, I don't know how you could fit him into current canon uh, and not have him... and Because and, you'd have to kind of um, nerf him a bit, right? Which would which would kind of defeat the purpose of the character, because he is kind of OP Force Man, right? But still, Force Unleashed games were fun, though. Really fun. Um, it was interesting to play some of the, like, alternate timeline stuff, where, like, you become... Sidious's apprentice and you like convert Luke to the dark side and do cool stuff like that that was fun um, it's a fun what if I think yeah you heading to bed good night Mr. Chicken Man box of chicken that's his name Bionicle's gonna be 20 years old in two years Woo. jeez makes sense <laughs> Mox at power link. That's a great idea. Do your mates rib on you as much as mine for being an AFOL? No. Nah. My friends are very respectful of my Lego and they really like it. Can my mock count as a self mock? Me. Uh, I mean, sure. But if you're asking me to put it again in another episode, I won't just because I don't want to put the same mock in twice because it's unfair for others. But submit an uh, either submit an updated version of the self of yourself, Mark, or just submit another one, and I can put it in at some point. You're having a crisis with your self, Mark. You consider Mateo your self, Mark, but he's got no connection to my username. I don't think that matters. I mean, don't call him Manorant Matoran, because he's none of those things. <laughs> I I mean, clearly the answer to that, Dave, is you need to build your self, Mark, as just purely a ramp, right? You know. And then other, other cars will, like, drive on top of your self-mock. He'll have a miserable existence. But you will fit it in with your self-mock. And he can use magic because he's got the mana part. And maybe there's a Matoran that lives under the ramp. You know, a magic Matoran who does ramp maintenance. There you go. That that should be your self-mock. What do you think about digital mocks? I love them, man. I mean, like, the one up right now, pretty rad. Um, you can get some really interesting stuff out of them. I don't like building digitally just because it's like, eh. I prefer to do it in real life. It's just, I like touching it more. It's like digital books, right? Like, 
I don't I don't want to do read a book on an iPad. I'd rather read it physically. Just I don't know. It's just that same kind of feel, you know. We can hear you can hear the chair. Cool. <laughs> got a got a guest on today. It's uh, my chair. Transformer continuity. Um, I'm not sure how well I know IDW Transformer continuity. I grew up with the Unicron trilogy, the Armada, Energon, and Cybertron. Woo, good times. Um, I, I, I enjoy Transformers storytelling. I do. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I'd be keen to get more into the lore on them. I, I want to read some Transformer comics, yeah. That's right, Ben's talking about Star Wars again. Be here for a while. I know that's an old comment because I'm done talking about Star Wars right now, but still. <laughs> Revan was almost in Clone Wars. That would have been an interesting uh, uh, connection. As was Darth Bane. Well, Darth Bane was in Clone Wars, but a different look of Darth Bane was going to be in it. The, the, the Legends version. Your best friends make fun of you for building Bionicles. Are they really your friends then? They might be. They might be just sort of uh, banter, but I don't know. Ask yourself. You can't build anything as good as you. Sure, he's jealous. Exactly that. He's probably jealous. Yeah, I agree. I don't think you self mock needs to relate to your username. Oh, oh, I understand what you mean now, Tesla. Um, I guess so. I guess your avatar has that. Yeah. I mean, it's up to you if you want to make it yourself mock. Oh, I guess I guess you can't really make a Kimi yourself mock. Hey, now that I think about it. Look, if you really want to, I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> the self-mock police aren't going to come to your house and arrest you for making a chemo your self-mock, you know. <laughs> yeah, Bayformers is Bayformers. I really enjoyed Bumblebee, though. I hope they continue uh, down that road. Make some Star Wars and Transformers videos, like, for lore and stuff. Interesting prospect. Micromanager was on the show as well. That's an interesting idea, Tesla, kind of having him uh, being this kind of universal entity that kind of takes forms of characters and stuff. That's cool. So cool. Self-mock police. Open up. That's right. We had Micromanager. We had the anonymous Anadroidesis. What well, seems to be the problem, officer? Uh, you were about to be uh, placed under arrest for making a kimbo yourself, Mark. How dare you? And then we had Brutus the Warlord, Mitch Henry's Mark. And that was all the mocks in today's episode. That's the one. Part of me is like, probably should end the stream now. And part of me is like, kind of don't want to. <laughs> kind of want to keep talking. <laughs> we'll talk a little longer and then we'll, then we'll call it. How are you supporting limbs that move with a mock that big? It's a good point. It's a good point. Pistons and stuff is always the best way to go when you're building a Titan like that. Anonymous Andrew, is your favorite mock for today? Yeah, what was everyone's favorite mock from today? Anything I'm hoping to see continued in the Clone Wars? Man, anything that they said that they would put in in the unfinished pod, um, panels at past celebrations, any of that stuff. Ooh, I want to see that. I'd be keen with very, 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 very subtle Rebels def references. I, I don't think we need, like, you know, and here's where Hera was in the Clone Wars, and here's where Zeb was in the Clone Wars. But it'd be cool if it's just, like, in the background, Depa Balaba has um, Kanan just by her side. And it, they say nothing, you just see it, and you're like, hey, you know. But, um, yeah. I wouldn't be against if they sort of subtly changed some of the stuff that they were talking about at that uh, Clone Wars panel, the unfinished episode stuff. Because I think that's fair. They basically told us a decent amount of plot of stuff. I'd be fine if they didn't say anything. I still am gunning on Siege of Mandalore, finishing the Cad Bane story, and um, what was the other storyline I thought they were going to do? Um, ah, geez, I'm forgetting. Something with Bad Batch, probably. Your favorite was Mitch's mock? Yeah. Micromanager? Yeah, yeah cool. Dragon Lord, Dragon Ball, yeah, 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 people like Dragon Ball, people like Dragon Ball indeed. Kimu, you thought Kimu was cool? Kimu was pretty cool. Probably would stick to about 12 mocks for live streams. I powered through those super quick. Maybe I'd do more, maybe I'd do less, I don't know yet. 
We'll figure it out. You like the purple one? There's a couple of purple ones. Drinking in the water. It's fair enough. Alrighty, you know what? I'm gonna call it there, guys. Thank you very much for coming to the live stream. Uh, I would, I would do the typical outro that I do of like, if you want to submit marks to the show, do so with the email that you're currently seeing on your screen. But I didn't include a picture of that. So if you want to check the description, because that's, I'll probably put that in there if, you know, the typical submitting of your mocks is through that. Do that. Uh, I reckon part two of the live stream will be way longer than part one, but uh, I don't know quite how you do that. Because I know, I know where the videos like save, but I don't know if they have to like process or something or if they have to kind of figure themselves out to upload them. But at some point they'll upload. I'll figure out how to do that. Um, so yeah, thanks for coming, guys. It was a fun time. Nice to hang out with all of you. Oh yeah, I was supposed to be congratulated on 100 episodes. That happened. Yay. <laughs> um, barely talked about that. Thought I'd talk about that more. Oops. That's fine. Anyway, nice to see you all. Uh, we'll do more of these, man. Don't worry. Um, if I do, I'll announce it well ahead of time, though. Probably not. Oh, maybe I'll do one next week. I haven't thought about that. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll figure that out. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good rest of the night or day, depending on your time zone. I'm sure I'll eat some broccoli tonight. Sure. That weird way to end the stream, but that's true. I'll do it. Why not? All right. You think they're instantly safe? Let's hope so. All right. Anyway, we'll call it there. Thanks, guys. Happy building. See you in the next one. Bye for now.